This is giving me medium coverage. It's giving me blackface. <laughs> this is caramel though. Caramel normally has yellow because I'm not trying to look like a fresh new penny. Now we need to blend all this, of course. We're not gonna just leave it. <laughs> I mean, who does that? If you're confused, raise your hand. What up, Wagwan? At the saying, it's your girl, Minna Dibia. And in this video, we are going to be trying out a few new products. And then, are we gonna talk? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the living room. This is a YouTube video in case you are wondering, just Google fireplace on YouTube. Additionally, make sure you follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am there. I post three times a week here on YouTube. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those wonderful, fantastic, spectacular, stupendous videos. If you're in the US, text me and join my text community. It's free and I want you to be a part of it. You can text me one-on-one. -on -one. It is me, it's not spam. It comes right to my phone. Additionally, make sure you comment. I do random giveaways, you might just win, but I mean, if you're here and you're watching, you want to come in anyway, like let's have a conversation. You want to see what I'm saying? And this is a pajama set from Target. I rolled it up because I can't do makeup with long sleeves. It just feels weird. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, hair, if you're wondering, this is a straight, this is the wig that I wore in the silky straight video where I was following a video and making my hair silky straight, okay? So the wig is really supposed to be straight, but I curled it and I don't love the curl pattern, but it's okay. So this is the same wig in case you're wondering, I will link it below. It will come straight because it's meant to be straight. And the reason I don't like the curl pattern is because like I said, it's meant to be straight. So the curls fall more than this other wig that I have when I curl it, it stays nice and fluffy and cute. It is a four by four. That's what I prefer. I use got to be for my edges. And then I throw this on easy peasy. Let's go with lip primer, which I always wear. Even if I'm going to wear a lip gloss, which I don't do often by itself, I always wear a lip primer. If you struggle with, if you're human, okay, this is not just like, oh, it's you. If you're human, your lips get dry, okay? And I live in some lip product, okay? I live in a good, I call everything chapstick, okay? I live in a good chapstick, a, li a good lip balm, a good whatever. I wipe that off and then apply the lip primer. This I know is discontinued. I hate that for you because I, probably the reason why they discontinued, I bought so many of these because I just felt like it was gonna go away and it did. This is the e.l.f. Lock-On Lip Primer, but MAC has a prep and prime lip that I used for many, many years. I used to freelance at MAC. I started doing makeup wearing MAC. So feel free to grab that one. Now I have done my skincare already. SPF is already on my face, which is very, very important. Make sure you put on your SPF every single day. It's a gloomy day outside, but we still have on SPF. For foundation, I'm gonna use this Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. I've never, ever used this. I hope this color is for me. 470. It's looking real dark, but you know that I like to go dark and then I just balance everything out, but this is looking real dark. It is a frosted glass, so let's just see. I do also have the Beauty Blender itself. So I do have that. I'm making sure my sponge is damp and not soaked. Watch my video on makeup sponges and how to use it and how to wet it and all that stuff because you probably are not doing it correctly and it's normal, but you wanna get on the right page, okay? This is an old product, Obvi, but this is my first time using it. I'm not gonna use the Beauty Blender to apply it though. It's just too messy and it soaks up product. Is it gonna squirt? The squirter is at an angle, so intentional so that it doesn't fly, but I don't be trusting these squirts ever on any product because it'd be just making a mess. This is dark. This is dark. This is my summer foundation shade. Mm -hmm. I can make this work. This is giving YSL new, I know that meaning the shade of the YSL new, which I wear, which is number 19. I haven't shared that with you here on YouTube, but I've used it on IG a few times. Okay, this is gonna work. It is dark, but it is gonna work. This brush, I know you're wondering, is from the Disney Princess Collection, but it is, in fact, the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. I'll link this and all the products that I use below, okay? This is dark, but you see how I didn't take too much because I wanna make sure that it works. It's working, okay. 
it's working. But now I have it in here, which I don't like because it's messy, but let me just take it. If you watch my video on applying foundation with a beauty blender versus a brush, then you already know that I don't like to apply foundation with a beauty blender or a makeup sponge. It's just not my preference. I like to get the most amount of pigment from the application of the product that I can get. For that reason, I'm not gonna use a sponge. A sponge is going to shear out the concentration of the product. That's not what I want. I want there to be, again, like I said, as full of a coverage as possible. This is giving me medium coverage. It's giving me blackface. <laughs> it's gonna all come together once I highlight, okay? But this is a dark color, wow, okay. We are looking hydrated right now. If you use this foundation, I want you to let me know. Now I did shower and put on my pajamas, so I don't want you to think I just, I would never just roll out of bed and come put makeup on. It's just not my <laughs> uncharacteristic of me. I showered and put this on because I want to be cute and cash today in, in the crib, okay? Let me get my nose. For some reason, my, I just be, I don't be getting enough on my nose. It's just so weird. So let me get my nose, you know what I'm saying? That is enough product. It's not going, I don't believe layering it anymore is going to give me any more pigment, but I like it. It's giving me medium coverage and I think it looks really good. So comment and let me know what you think about this foundation match. All right, so for consistency, Concealer, I have the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 24 hour five in one concealer. Yo, these names, this is the number 76. I've seen so many ads from influencers about this and it looks like it's really good. It has a sponge applicator. Some might be worried that this is going to harbor bacteria. I mean, it totally can and will. I'm gonna squeeze and get the product onto the applicator. Here it is, it's rising up, okay. And this color should be good. It's just me cool tone, like, you know, beige undertone. I wish this were more warm. All right, I had a few shades of this and I took this one out as a potential match. This is caramel though. Caramel normally has yellow. Maybe it's just too, 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 too yellow, not enough. <laughs> Okay, let's take the beauty blender, which I've already dampened, and let's go ahead and blend this in. This beauty blender feels so good. I mean, there's a difference between the beauty blender and the makeup sponges that I use from Amazon, but you know, I like to stretch where I can and then, you know, splurge where I want to. So I prefer to use those ones, but you know, do what you feel like you wanna do. I like the concealer. I'm getting a dewy finish. Notice how I did not prime my face. I didn't feel like it. I just wanted to see how this foundation would look without any primer. The concealer color is good. It's actually blending out nicely. It's looking like it doesn't move a lot, like in a good way, not a bad way. It's like, it's not stuck like the e.l.f. camo, the matte version. I mean, that one dries so fast. This one is not, I wouldn't call this fast drying, but I wouldn't call it runny either. It's It stays in the area where I've put it. Blending that upward, I like to start on the outer part of my face. Bring it down to the cheek a little bit and blending the outer part, leaving the front to dry a little bit more than I blend. I'm also reverse contouring my nose. So right here on the side, I bring it all the way down. Not here, but on top of this nostril, okay? Because I want to create that narrow nose effect. And then I'm gonna contour. That's just what I like to do. You should do what you like to do. Okay. I think this looks good. On the camera, it looks so much different than in person. It's dark in here because it's dark outside. So I'm not seeing it that well, but you're getting a better view with the light that's on me. And I still like to go right down the middle of my nose to highlight. I'm squeezing some more product out of here as I do these two areas and taking the beauty sponge. I always do my chin first because I want the rest of the areas to dry more, give me more pigment. I'm not getting a lot of pigment under my chin right there. I like to use a leftover from when I blend another area of my face. Interesting, this concealer is reminding me of something else I've tried. Is it LA Girl? I don't know. It is definitely giving a dewy finish, which is nice, hydrating for sure. This is not a matte concealer. And mind you, I have not primed my face to alter anything. And yeah, I think this looks good. Comment and let me know what you think about the concealer and also have you tried it and what color have you tried? Now the problem is the contour I'm gonna use is likely not gonna be dark enough for this face. And here's the thing, I've talked about this a few times. 
when the foundation shade changes and you stick with the same concealer, the same contour, it's going to look different. So on a lighter foundation shade, so you saw how this one was pretty dark. On a lighter foundation shade, this contour would appear darker. Because this foundation shade is dark, this contour is not going to be as pronounced, not going to be as dark. And that's okay, but sometimes I want my contour to be boom. I, like, I want it to be pronounced. But today, here we are. It's not the end of the world. It's just not going to be as pronounced as it could. And in that case, if I wanted to use this foundation and I wanted a very pronounced con cream contour, this is Fenty Toffee Teeth, by the way, then I would need to use a contour or a cream foundation that is very dark, like the Good Apple Bomb foundation in the color 98. That joint is dark on my skin. So if I had that next to me, I would use that, but that's in my bathroom stash. So here I am using this one and I'm still getting a contour. It's more of a subtle contour though which is good. Now I'm gonna take some of the actual product, not going with the leftover on my brush. I've been liking a more defined nose contour these days. So I'm taking it from the actual product and going right down the side of the nose. We are gonna give ourselves these Landon strips in the name of Jesus, he's worthy. But we are gonna blend all of it. And you see how this is further isolating the highlight in the middle of the nose and the highlight that we did on the sides. You see how we brought down the eye under eye highlight and run it down the sides of my nose onto my nostrils. When you put this contour in the middle of all of that, it further enhances everything else. We're just creating a shadow, okay? This is the shadow, baby. Ooh, nose, hello. Now we need to blend all this, of course. We're not gonna just leave it. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Oh my gosh, I forgot to start off with my fragrance. I'm gonna start doing that in my videos. I haven't done my fragrance yet today. So I'm gonna wear Nest Golden Nectar Eau de Parfum. This stuff smells so good. And the packaging is just so beautiful and gorgeous. So let's get this all over. In the hair, of course, the wrists, the arms. Yes, it reminds me of a body spray from a Tracy guy. I just don't know which one it is. But of course, this is an eau de parfum, so it'll last you longer. It smells so sweet. So good Nest fragrances. If you've never tried anything from Nest, definitely want to give this one a shot. It's sweet. I don't. I haven't. I don't have all the notes in front of me right now, but this is really, really, really good. Okay. All right. Now I don't have a new setting powder in front of me, so I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder. Now let me take the butt of this and blend out the harsh lines. Remember, we don't want any lines of demarcation. So let's go ahead and blend this out. <laughs> Get the hair so you're not setting the hair into your makeup because if you do, that's a problem. And then I'm taking this pointy part of the sponge to make sure that there isn't any settling of the product into my normal creases under my eyes. This creasing is normal, okay? And then I'm gonna use the sponge to set. I've been living life on the wild side lately and I've been using my sponge to set my under eye highlight and I've been enjoying it, especially since I'm no longer having to deal with setting powder getting onto my contacts. It's so annoying. Mm, 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 mm. The reason why I stopped doing this because there were some times where I would see a caked up mess and really and truly, I think it was because I had dry patches under my eyes. So if I have dry patches and I use a sponge to apply my setting powder, girl, it's gonna be a mess. So that's why I stopped, okay? Cause it was just so hit or miss, it was scary. Now. I I'm taking a lot. You know you've never seen me do this before. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm in rare form. I need a brush to dust this. What brush is this for? I have no idea. Okay, look at, ooh, this is looking very uh, beige. <laughs> take the excess onto the eyes to take away that shine. My God, I went, I was overzealous this morning. <laughs> Hi. That's a lot, that's a lot. I'm taking some of this and putting it onto my paper towel because, you know, I call it a tissue, okay? But it's a paper towel because I'm going to use it to set under my eye, all right? We gotta set the contour, let's do that. And this is gonna be 
good for this contour because it's not dark and I like my contour to be dark, okay? So this is NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in the color Rich. And I'm taking this Sephora 59 brush, which is so good, nice and fluffy. And I'm setting now. Setting gives you the idea that this is required. It's not required. However, I want to deepen this contour out and that's why I do this. If you don't wanna deepen it, you wanna still look dewy, you don't need to do this part, but I do, so. I am and then going on the jawline a little bit give a little bit of a shadow this highlight is giving like I said beige off-white it's concerning me typically I like to go with like a yellow but that's okay Ooh, what face powder do I have because I can warm it up see this is the, this is the whole chemistry of it all you want to warm up your face if it's looking very neutral which my face is right now the camera's showing you something different in person my face is looking very neutral in a good way but I do like to offset it with a powder from foundation that is more warm. Give me some orange to the face to really make me look golden, okay? Now, this one will do that. This is a Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the color 450. And this is a Complex Culture Foundation Brush. Excuse me, powder brush. <laughs> Now, the one size Patrick Star Dark 4, is it Dark 4 and Dark 4G? The one I usually use. Now that one is nice and golden. If I used that, I would look very bronzy. Not in a shimmer way, but in a golden sunset way. But you know, that's how you wanna choose the shades or the undertones of your products when you're either trying out something new or just trying to set the tone for something. Cause it's a cloudy day, but that doesn't mean that I wanna look dull. I still wanna look sun-kissed and just beautiful. Like let's say you're on vacation and you, you really just wanna look golden and beautiful. Take some golden type products, but I would also not use a golden foundation a golding setting powder, a golding face powder, and then highlight with some golden. I would not, because I'm not trying to look like a fresh new penny. I just wanna offset a few things by choosing the golden undertone products strategically. If you're confused, raise your hand. If you're confused, give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> I know that it can be confusing, so I'm sorry. I just like to do my best to explain to you the reasoning why I choose things because perhaps that'll help you when you're making your choices on what to wear and what to, what to wear and what to pair. Come on, we doing a little rhyming and stuff. I don't have a new highlighter luminizer, so I'm gonna use my good old faithful Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt. Oh my God, I feel like a broken record when I say that. Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt, you know? And you know that I take the butt of the sponge I start off every single time on the right side of my face. That was a lot of product. Hold on. Taking the excess, going in these areas and going back, pouncing this off to sheer it out and then going back to blend it out, okay? And you gotta move fast. <laughs> you gotta move quickly, starting here close to my eye and going just all around. More product, shearing it out on the back of my hand and then applying it in this area, in this fashion. And we did the strip down the nose, although I wanna do more, but I've already taken it off my hand. Ooh, let's see if there's leftover. I'm gonna pinch this and get right down the middle of the nose. I don't think that made that much of a difference, but it still looks really good. Comment and let me know. And then I do have another blush, a new blush that I'm gonna be showing you on IG. I don't have it in front of me, so I'm gonna take some else that I have in front of me. I'm gonna mix two blushes today because I just feel like it. You know, my old faithful, always spicy e.l.f. Cosmetics blush look at that look at that are you still wearing blush i know i don't hear a lot about blush in videos and stuff but it's so key to really taking the whole look up a few notches i need to dig out my orangey actually it might be here but i want to do a red or a purple lip because i wore red yesterday and i loved it and i haven't done a purple in a while but i really should pair my purple lip with a purple blush but I don't have purple blush. I need blush recommendations. I've been trying to find Milani in the drugstore and I haven't been finding good ones. Maybe I need to go to Milani.com. I don't know, I'm annoyed. I guess I need to do that. Okay, fine. <laughs> the lip bar, glow on highlighting blush. And this is the color Pinch Me. It's gonna give pink. But like I said, I wanted to wear purple. This is so contradictory. I mean, it's in the same color family, but still, I like to match my blushes. 
lights and stuff sometimes. Let's stop right there. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this looks really good to me. Now, when it comes to brow products, okay, this is Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy. You know my brows are unique. I don't know what this means. Are there hairs? Oh, there are hairs on here. Hold on. It's gonna give me brow hair? Wait, let me look in the mirror. Hold on, have you tried this before? Are there, are there hairs on here? I mean, I don't see anything. I feel the moisture, <laughs> the wetness of the product, but it's not like I can see anything. Remember, I'm wearing a darker foundation and I'm wearing a brown foundation. This product isn't very dark, so it's not showing a whole lot. I don't get the point of this. My brows look lighter, actually. <laughs> Do they look gray? Is it giving gray? <laughs> that ain't gonna work for the kid. Okay, 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 when it comes to eyes, I'm finally using this Sigma Princess Cinderella Disney eyeshadow palette. It really is gorgeous. Now, I am a little concerned about this transition color option, but let's see. It's the color Cinders. It's not as warm as I would like for it to be, but that's okay. We're gonna work it out. It is pretty though. So I like to start right here in the middle of the eye, as you saw, and then blend toward the beginning, right down here, isolating out the brow bone okay so right here in the crease is where i'm focusing this product the crease color is getting onto my eyelid but that's okay i like for it to blend seamlessly i don't want it to just stick in my crease because if i did that then i'd be doing a cut crease and that's not what i'm trying to do today making sure that there are no harsh lines by fluffing it out toward the outer part of my face there all right and now i'm going to deepen up the crease by using this color stroke of midnight this is a cool color for sure not giving me warmth it's got a gray undertone if you can see that's how I'm, i know that it's cool taking some more of this product and I wanna bring it right here toward the front of my brow. I don't like for there to be any space between my eyebrow and my crease color right in the front. It just looks so good that way. And then feathering this out so that it looks so blended. Do you see that? Come on. I either wanna do bitty bitty, bitty bobby, what? I either wanna do bibbity bobbity boo or fantasy, but it will look better on top of purple versus on top of my skin. It's gonna look different. So I'm gonna take Kindness and this flat fluffy brush head down so I don't make a mess. And I'm putting this Kindness color all over my lid first. This eye look is looking very cool. I'm not getting the warmth that I need, but we are here. There is a black, it looks pretty gray to me though, in this palette called Mischievous. So Mischief, Mischief, what? Mischievous? What do you, oh, what do you, girl, I can't do it. Okay, look at Fantasy. Okay, Fantasy looks good. Ooh, this looks really good. Just using my finger, no glitter glue. This is a nice shimmer. Let me just bring this to the front of my eye as well. You see, these shimmers are gonna be a little bit transparent. So if you don't have a base underneath it, like it's just not gonna look the same. It just really isn't. This does look gorgeous, party eyes. So clearly not doing a red lip today. I didn't know what lip I was doing today, but the eyes will definitely tell me what I'm doing. And we have a verdict. With a party eye like this, the lip needs to be subtle, okay? Ooh, that looks pretty, ooh.
All right, all right, all right. Here we are with the finished look. On my lips, I'm wearing the Lip Bar Savage on the outer part. And then on the inside, it's ColourPop Slow Down. I don't think it's even sold anymore, but I love that peachy color. So let's talk about the eye. Okay, the eyeshadow palette is cute, but it's filled with lots of cool toned eyeshadows. I'm not gonna use it again for that reason. I love the shimmers in it, but I don't like to hold on to a palette just because of one or two shimmers that I like, like no. The eye look is pretty. It's not something that I'm in love with because my eye is far too, why is this poking down? <laughs> oh my God, my lashes are kind of like doing things today. My crease is far too cool for me. It looks gray, okay? But we made it work and I think it looks pretty. I want you to comment and let me know if you wear cool toned eyeshadows and you are a brown skin girl. Do you like cool toned eyeshadows? I don't. I'm loving the cheek though. Do you see how that lip bar glow on highlighter is reflecting? Beautiful. But I like how this look came out. Oh wait, I do have a setting spray. I like how the foundation looks. I don't want to set my face with this, but I also want to use it, but it's going to make me dewy. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it, okay? This is the new YSL Yves Saint Laurent Dewy Mist, okay? So we are gonna get dewy. This is brand new, let me open it. I, I don't often use setting sprays because when the face looks good, the face looks good. If it doesn't need anything, it doesn't need anything. But, you know, from time to time, I do wear a good setting spray and I'm gonna try this one out. Here we go. Let me spray it to make sure I get all the kinks out. So one thing I can say while my face is drying is that it takes way too many spritzes to cover the face. And that annoys me with setting sprays of any kind. I need you to cover the face quickly. I don't wanna be there for 10 years and you saw, okay? But you can feel when the setting spray is on your whole face and when it's not. Okay. Look at the face. I'm looking dewy. <laughs> it does look gorgeous. And I'm sure with the YSL new bare look skin tint, it would look even more dewy. I do like how this looks. I'm gonna hold on to it because it's YSL. Like what in the world? And it does look really good. I just wish that the spray didn't take so long to get it popping. But wow, the skin is looking nice and hydrated today. Hold on, what we doing today? I want you to comment and let me know what you thinking about it. Also make sure you're subscribed. If you watch the video to the end, you might as well. I'm going to leave two videos for you to watch so that you don't rush to go anywhere else but here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And as always, I'm glad you watched my videos. I thank you so much. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.